Hi friends, hope you enjoyed my previous sessions of data mining. In the last session, I discussed a classification, classification problem definition, right? So if you missed that classification problem definition, please kindly watch that video by using above link. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about general approach to solving a classification problem. To solving a classification problem. Before going to discuss about this topic, just I want to give the clarification about classification. So then only you will get the knowledge on general approach to solving a classification problem. Now see classification. Now generally a large database has huge amount of raw data. So if you consider so retail system there is a n number of uh, records are there. So see if you want to get the good product from that uh, from that entire database or raw data. So obviously you have to take some queries right you have to give some queries you have to apply the some queries right so if we consider so each and every domain has its own raw data right so that's the reason i given this statement a large database has huge amount of raw data now which is analyzed and predicted to retrieve useful information and to make definitions so obviously if you want to take the decisions so you need some knowledge where you'll get the knowledge obviously from the data only data knowledge and decision so now so from the data see you you must get the knowledge so obviously which is analyzed and predicted to retrieve useful information right now see the simple uh, definition of i mean classification classification is one of the methods used for data analysis so where I have to use this classification means just like classification is one of the methods used for data analysis. So this technique is really used for data analysis purpose only. We analyze the data and we classify it. So based on our requirement. So for example, so I want to purchase a bike, right? So I want to purchase a two wheeler from automobile databases. So how you, uh, how you are going to buy a bike? So without uh, background knowledge, can you can you purchase the bike? No, right? So before going to purchase one bike, right? So from the uh, retail system uh, or else, so from automobile industry. So obviously, so you need to get some knowledge. Then only you can take the decision, which bike is suitable for you, which bike is uh, good. So on a special roads, right? So that's the reason classification is one of the methods used for data analysis. We analyze the data and classify it. So based on our requirement. So for to, for better understanding, I have a simple example. So where I have to this classification means. Now see the example, you will get the idea about this classification. So now if you want to know the performance of the university. So how you will get the performance of the university? So we need some data, right? So we need some database. So now we classify the students database based on their performance. So if you want to know the performance of the university, obviously you have to classify the students database. So on their performance. So there are different types of students. So some students may be above average, average and below average students, right? So based on this criteria only, so the student performance will be appear. So that's the reason I given performance as above average, average and below average students. So now I want to do the some classification, right? So on this university database, see if the classification shows that the number of students under below average. So in the university category or more, then the university needs to improve, right? See if in that university, so below average students are more. So obviously, uh, then the university needs to improve the performance now hope you understand the uh, concept of classification and advantages of the classification right now see data classification process so how the process is goes so by using data classification means now see the example say let us consider the data classification so where a decision is to be made for increasing the pay scale of employees so now in an organization based on their performance level and the current pay scale. So let us consider, so one organization is there. So there are a number of employees are working on that organization. Suppose the organization the CEO wants to increase their pay scale. So obviously, so you must get the data, right? 
So based on the data only, you can increase the pay scale. So from current pay scale to so high pay scale. So based on their performances. So employees performances. That is a given. I given this example. So now consider the data classification. Now see, let's consider I have a small example. So training data. So training data is really useful, especially in data mining. So training data means just like database table only. So there you can get a number of records and based on that uh, records, you will get the knowledge. So now, so I given one training data. So this is about training data. In that I given some attributes, name, age, performance, current pay scale, like decisions. So now, so name, Salman, Juhir, Sujit, Hassan. So now age is young, young, senior, middle-aged and performance is good, good, good and bad. So this is just like training data. So training data means just like a database table only. So now performance, good, good, good and bad. So current pay skill is 20,000, 25,000, 26,000 and 30,000. Like decision is yes, 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 no. So now from this training data, so you are going to apply one algorithm called classification algorithm there are there are few algorithms are available for classification now i want to apply one classification algorithm so rules of classification based on this organization so now organization wants to know the performance means obviously so they have their own rules so now based on this training data so they made some rules of classification so if performance is equal to bad then like decision is no. First, second one is if current pay scale is less than 26,000 and performance is equal to good, then like decision is yes. So last one is if age is equal to senior and current pay scale is less than or less than 30,000, then like decision is yes. So if performance is bad, can can he get can he or she can get the increment? No right. So current pay scale to updated pay scale no right. So now, like decision is no. So if current pay scale is less than 26,000 and performance is good, so then, so you can give the like decision is yes. Same way, age is equal to senior, current pay scale less than 30,000, then like decision is equal to yes. So you'll get the some pay scale, right? Now see, test data, from test data, so name, Raju, Yusuf, Fajimad, Srikant. So age is young, senior, middle-aged. Performance is equal to good, 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 bad. So current pay scale is 20, 28, 22, 24,000 as follows. Like decision is yes, 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 no. So now again apply the rules of the classification. Now, so from this data, you will get the new data, right? Suppose who is going to uh, get the, I mean, pay scale, increased pay, pay scale. So that will come into uh, from test data to new data. So Khan, Young, Good, 20,000, like decision is what? So now see the conditions. Now performance is called bad. So there is no chance. Current pay scale is 26,000. Now see, so same way, the so performance is called good, like decision is yes. Age is called senior and current pay scale is less than 30,000. Like that, they can make some rules. So now see the same way. So Khan, Yang, good, 20,000, like decision. So how you get? So obviously, yes, right? Increase pay scale. So why? Because so he is younger and uh, they sh uh, I mean performance is called good. So and the pay scale is less than 20,000. So like decision obviously, yes only, right? So why? Because performance is called good, right? So younger. So that's the reason. So I given this example, right? So this is the way so we can classify the data. Now see general approach to classification. So now uh, you understand the training set, right? Start training set, training data, just like a database table. So from that, you get a good or new data attributes. So now training set consists of records with known class labels. So now, so this is, this is training data. So name, age, performance, current pay scale, and like decisions. These are the labels. Now these are the tuples. So how many tuples here? One, two, three, four. Four tuples are there, right? So now, training set is used to build a classification model. So now, based on the training set, so classification build a model. Now, a labeled test set. 
of previously unseen data records is used to evaluate the quali quality of the model so now so based on that conditions so obviously quality of the model will be evaluated the last one the classification model is applied to new records with unknown class labels so so in the classification in the classification so obviously we can get the decisions right so decision in the sense knowledge knowledge means training data so from the training data so you will get so you have to apply some classification algorithm so after that see if you apply the classification rules so obviously you will get the test data so based on that test data obviously you are going to apply the rules of classification from that rules of classification you will get the new data right so that's the reason in the last point the classification model is applied to new records with unknown class labels right so now see illustrating classification task so obviously this is training set so training set so from the training set so apply the model so you are going to apply the model induction so that is maybe so one algorithm so that may be here i given learning algorithm so next one is so if you apply the apply the model so obviously so if you apply the model obviously the data deduct, deducted so from the training set you will get the test set 